Good day. So today I'm going to take you quickly through the registration as a student following the link that will be provided to you by the institution, as well as the practice venture creation process that go alongside with that. So first of all, welcome. And uh, as a student or an entrepreneur on this program, your journey will start by receiving an email or a WhatsApp message that will contain a link for you to follow that will guide you to the online LearnWise platform. Uh, this will be the platform that you will use throughout your journey as an entrepreneur on this program. And it will contain all of the content, the worksheets, everything that you will need as an entrepreneur to be successful at the end of this program. However, it all starts with a following a simple link to a website. Uh, the website, the link will bring you to this website. For you to register as an entrepreneur, you will need to put in an email address that's never been used on the platform before. So I've created a new email specifically for that. So once you've typed in the email address, make sure that it's the correct one because you will be receiving a response from the platform in that email. So just double check it, ensure that it's correctly spelled and then click on next. It'll ask you for an institute code. This will be the code that your uh, institution will provide to you. Uh, it'll be a code that will be specific to each institution or each program that uh, you will be or the specific program that you will be following so that specific institute code will be provided to you by the facilitators or the program manager so for this purpose i'm going to use a code please this is not the code that is for your specific purpose it will it will be very specific to your program or your facilitator so uh, keep that in mind it's going to ask you to retype your email address and create a password Your password will need to be written down because you're going to need that going forward. Preferred language was English. Just click on I accept and sign in. It's going to ask you to save that password. Your browser might ask you to save it. It's up to you. If you can remember it, you don't need to save it. If you can save it, that's great. So you'll see that you've got a notification. It says, please verify your email address. The verification email has been sent to your email and follow the instructions within that email. So I've got my email address open up here next to this. I'm quickly going to go into it. In many instances, your invitation will land up in a spam folder or a promo box or something like this. Specifically with Gmail, it uh, most of the time happens to end up in a specific uh, folder and not really your inbox folder. As you can see, this uh, was lucky this time. It ended up in my primary email or inbox, but it can end, end up in your social or in a promo box. Just look out for the email that says WF LearnWise Admin. Click on it, open up the mail. It will give you a notification and a welcome email and a tab that you can click to verify your email address or a link that you can page uh, paste onto your browser, but it's easier just to Double click on that tab, which will open up a welcome mail. So your account's been verified. You can now log into LearnWise, click on the login using the email address again that you've created. It will ask you for your password that you've created. Just click on submit the cookies tab. It's not that important. 
it's going to ask you for your full name. So I'm just going to put my name in here. The email address will be in there. Uh, the country, it, uh, that very much depends where you are based, but uh, it'll be the country of the institution that you're registering under in. So don't take much notice of that, whether you're based in Kenya, Botswana, or uh, anywhere in Africa, it doesn't matter. So you don't need to change that. And you can just put in your phone number. Now, in this instance, it would be good if you use the phone number that you've got your WhatsApp uh, link to as well just for the purposes of being in communication with us. So I'm just gonna put in any my number here for the time being. You do not need to add an university ID, please. This is not a compulsory tab. Once you've completed all that information, click on next. It's gonna ask you for a year of graduation. That would be 2021. Uh, gender, select your gender. There's no need to add the stream in there oh, let's see what it was select stream oh yeah so you can add anything there if it doesn't uh, give you the skill or the sector that you're under just click on general that's usually the easiest one to select click general and then click on submit and this should give you access to your dashboard now it's saying that I have not enrolled for any courses. And now I need to have a number for a course that I will be registering under. So the batch number is the very unique number that your facilitator will share with you for the purposes of your enrollment. So ensure that uh, you use that correct number, please. Making sure you've got the correct number that will be shared with you, with you for your specific batch. You can just type that batch, that number in here. It usually starts with the code of your institution. This is not the number that I'm using. Please make sure you use the number specific to your program. The number that I'm typing in here is just for demonstration purposes. Um, it will not accept any number. It will only accept the correct number that you've been shared with. So you see what happens if I put in the wrong number. It says, please make sure you put in the correct number and that uh, you need to have the correct number for this purpose. Okay, so once you've got the number, the correct number, just click, type it in, click on join. It's gonna take you to a page. Just make sure you say you wanna join this batch. Yes. It's gonna ask you for a few uh, opening questions, somewhat related to your motivation. How motivated are you to become an entrepreneur? Uh, what is your plan for after college? That's not really relevant if you are an existing entrepreneur outside of college, but if you do uh, still spend time on college university, you can just select anything that's uh, relevant that you believe. Um, I'll just say that so, and click on submit. It's gonna take you to the batch that you are within. So now you've got access to your own dashboard. So right on the top here, you've got a tab that says dashboard. Please click on that. Remember, I said this was only for demonstration purposes. So any names or batch numbers that I'm showing you is not relevant to yours. Make sure that you've got the correct batch numbers and details for your login purposes. So now you need to register your practice venture, which is the important next step for that. You go to dashboard, click on dashboard. It will bring you to this page where you will see your progress and overall progress of the program. It will also show you any students that are part of your program as well. And you click on start. It will take you to a next set of pages that will contain program content, course overview, as well as the, the tab for you to create your practice venture. You'll see that there are a number of headings here. Dashboard will take you back to the previous page. The course info is where we will give you details on your batch. Course details is the course content that you can go through. Quizzes are not that important at this stage. So what you do is click on practice venture.
if you are a single entrepreneur in your business and you do not have any partners yet, you will say click on create the group. So the batch name will be in there, whichever batch it is that you are under. Don't pay any attention to that. You cannot change it. You can just call your group um, uh, success group. This is just for demonstration purposes. Take note of that. Your group name will need to be relate in relevant in relation to your venture. Okay, so please ensure that you name your practice venture according to your and your group name and your venture name can be the same. That is entirely possible. So, and I would suggest you do that for the purposes of keeping track of it. Uh, venture description, we can just, whatever your business idea is all about, or if you haven't got a business idea yet, just give an idea of what it is that you are interested in, but please keep it relevant. If you've got a business idea already that you want to explore, or you've got a startup, existing startup that you want to develop through this program, please make sure that you put that description in here. I'm just going to use this as an, an example. Take support desk and then select the sector that you're in could be advanced manufacturing or there are a couple to choose from um, whichever is real relevant you believe to your business idea click on that scroll down a little bit on the page and click on create and it is as easy as that now your practice venture is created first of all you've enrolled onto the program so Welcome into the uh, Watwani LearnWise platform. You've got access to the platform now to go and explore your course content, your course details. Your course plan will be shared with you by your facilitators. Um, but you've done the important work, you've enrolled and you've created your practice venture. So the first classes will be shared and the time frame shared with you going forward. And with that, again, thank you and uh, good luck.